welcome back to my channel and to another episode of hashtag make it in me and yeah I am pulling out flower crowns at this point in life <laughs> so in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a DIY planner and I was not planning on doing this video but someone on Instagram commented asking me to do it and I was like you know what that's a pretty great idea so that is why we're here this video is so easy you can make a planner right this minute I hope that you guys enjoy it and get some ideas and inspiration from it and all that fun stuff and if you make anything be sure to tweet me or Instagram me with the hashtag make it in me all of my information is right at this corner right here and don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and let's try to get it to a thousand likes for more planner videos and DIYs and all that fun stuff so with that being said let's get straight into this video and I'll talk to you in a bit because you know I'm all about so for your planner you'll need a ton of beautiful images and I'm going on graphic stock to get that my planner is orange so I'm gonna look for covers that would match that so graphic stock is an amazing website because they have thousands of images and content that are all royalty free and what's great about it is that you can save them to your computer and use them for tons of projects that you have also there is an amazing seven day trial that you can check out and i'll have the link down below so i recommend that you doing that and saving a ton of images that you would like for any future projects that you may have so as you can see i'm just clicking and downloading tons of beautiful images girly stuff makeup backgrounds patterns and all that fun stuff and i'm saving all to my computer so when i'm happy with the ones i have i'm going into a word document and drawing up a two by two table then i'm going to right click on table properties and then options and then I'm going to set all the margins as zero. Then I'm going to uncheck automatically resize to fit contents. After that, you're going to go onto row, specify row height as four inches and set it as exactly. And then go onto column and set the width as three inches and then press OK. So this is a template for your journal card. So I'm just dropping all of the pretty images that I downloaded from graphic stock into the table like this. And then I'm just going to make sure that they fit into it perfectly like this. So for the cover of my planner, if you don't have a laminating device, you can do what I'm doing. So I chose a graphic that would fit the color of my planner. As you will see, it's orange, so this will be perfect. And I'm just resizing it to fit the entire page. So I'm dragging all the margins up. And if you look in print preview, this is how it will look. So, you wanna so for another journal card option, you can drag some patterns like what I did and then create a text box where you can put cute little quotes and sayings in the box. And then you can just resize it to fit like what I am doing here. Don't worry if you're out of ideas, you can definitely check online for some life inspirational quotes because that is what I did. If your background is a bit too dark, you can just go onto the format picture icon and then you can just increase the transparency like what I am doing right here and you'll see how light the background gets so your quotes will show up a lot more. My planner is orange like I told you so the cover is gonna match perfectly so I'm taking some Mod Podge and I'm gonna take a foam brush and Mod Podge the entire front of my cover like this and then I'm gonna take the image that I printed out and stick it to the planner like this so all I'm doing is smoothing it out, making sure there are no air bubbles, and then I'm going to cut out the excess. So of course you want to do that for the back as well. So then I'm going to Mod Podge the entire cover. Don't worry, it dries clear, so it is going to be perfect. And the Mod Podge that I'm using is gloss, so it has a really beautiful shine to it by the time I'm finished and it's dried. So now that I have a DIY planner cover without having to use a laminating machine, I'm going to go ahead and decorate the inside. So I'm going to take some washi tape and split up the inside into four boxes like this. So I will have two days on each page. And then I'm just adding some stickers in and you can make it from images from that website I showed you or you can just download it from the computer. So on each corner of the page, I like to write the dates. So that is where my dates is going to be. And at the bottom, I like adding H2O for water as well as gym. And then I add eight little circles for the eight glasses of water I should drink. So you can just tick off the circles every time you drink a glass of water. And similarly, I have a little circle for gym just like this. So I like this because you can tick it off. And it's a DIY planner, so you just suit it to your preferences. We don't want to be like so then I have my journal cards that I printed out. And yeah, I love pugs. They're my favorite dogs. 
I have a whole video on this which I'll link in but I'll show you it anyway. So I'm taking a pencil and I'm just going to go ahead and mark out everywhere that I'm going to be punching so that it will fit into the spirals of my notebook. And after you punch it you want to take a scissors and just snip it so that way it will fit into your binder rings. So I'm just taking a pencil to help me stick it in like this. Another touch that I like to add in my DIY planner is little circles and hearts where I can just add my things to do and again you can just go ahead and tick these off when you are finished. As you can see you can make a planner today for tomorrow and it's so simple and inexpensive which is what I love. So these are different snapshots of planner pages that I did. I love this hoot picture, it's so pretty. And this is a French themed section of my planner because it's all pink and pretty. And then there's this really summery one that I just did. It says breathe and I really love this journal card and actually this is my favorite planner spread that I did. So again from Graphic Stuck, I am going to take this image and make a little pocket for my DIY planner. So I'm just cutting out a triangle like this that will fit the size of my cover and then I'm just going to go ahead and stick that down just like this. And this is where I will hold all of the beautiful excess journal cards that I have and any little tidbits that can't fit in my planner, I'll just put it in the front pocket. And I also made a back pocket for extra space as well using this very same paper. So that's the end of this DIY planner video and journal cards and all that fun stuff. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and it gave you some ideas for your DIY planner. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe on your way out so you won't miss a thing. I'll see you in my next episode of Make It In Me. Bye!